figure I'd share with you uh, today my build of the day. I'm doing some car wheel stands. I'm gonna build them up and show you how I do it because uh, some of you guys don't have lifts like I don't. I have the scissor lift, but I'm doing some exhaust work on the Mark 1 and I'm not able to get underneath the car with the lift in the way. So these will, these are stands that you can put your wheels on and get your car off the ground. And uh, I never had them before because I was kind of just, I just didn't build them. But I figured I'd show you how I do it and how much it costs and how it worked out. So I bought 16 eight foot two by fours and a five pound box of nails for uh, $63.13. You can get six 16 inch pieces of wood out of these. So I'm gonna do a 16 inch square and I'll show you how I do it. Um, and I think that you can be able to get these up pretty tall like that. Um, you wanna make sure you get some straight two by fours, not some crooked ones like this. Also, strap your wood up. You don't want to be the guy in the middle of the intersection picking up his stuff like an idiot. You're going to need some type of cutting device. This is what I prefer for this type of a job. I think it would be the fastest and most accurate way. And, uh, of course, a good measuring tape. This one I like. Any uh, carpenter will tell you to make each measurement. Um, at a time, but with this, it's not gonna be measured down to the 30 seconds of an inch or whatever. Uh, so you can just lay the tape measure out, measure up 16 inches every single one. We're just building some uh, blocks here, so we're not building a house. But, um, so use a square, something legible, and every 16 inches, make your marks. All right, so a little bit of math. We cut them all at 16 inches in length. There's 24 pieces of wood in each square. If you cut them at 16 for every eight foot piece of wood, that's what you'd get. You'd get uh, 24 pieces of wood per block. Um, and then it's going up and down the aisle in Home Depot. I figured the exterior screws were our best option, kind of the cheapest option as well. Um, I got some three inchers. And we're gonna throw two in each corner, square them up, but we're looking pretty good. Let's do it. All right, grab a couple screws. You're gonna wanna square it up, make sure each, you know, it's nice and tight. Phillips head. Put in a little bit here. And then feel it out. Hold it down. Same on this side. Square it up. Feel this side out. Just put one in on each side for the first one just so you can get it nice and square. And then afterwards, go back and throw another one in. Just wanna make it nice and, nice and square. To start, you know, you got to really have it good on the, in the beginning here. One tool I always forget I have until I stab myself in the hand with this guy. So we got this one, it's got a sleeve on it. It's magnetic inside, you just slide your screw in it. And you can just stab away, screw it all the way down, and uh, it won't slip off. It's really a great tool, I always forget I have it. All right, all done. I use like almost all the screws, five pounds. Glad I got the big box. All right, we're up. I think uh, this worked out pretty well. Uh, as you can see, this is like my jack stand is at its maximum height. It's a little bit higher than the jack stand, maybe a couple inches, nothing crazy, but 
Um, it gave me a ton of room. It's super sturdy. I really like them a lot. Um, if I only had a regular floor jack, I'd say maybe go a couple less two by fours in height. Um, I think these are 14 high or something like that. Maybe do 10 high or something, maybe 12 or something like that, but, uh, feel it out for yourself. Uh, just, I think getting it up this high, you'd have to put a block underneath your, in between the jack and your car and jack it up. It might get a little sketchy. Um, so I'd suggest maybe doing a little less high. Um, but this worked out great. I can slide the scissor lift out or just put a piece of plywood on it. And I got plenty of room to get up under there for the exhaust and, you know, brake lines, fuel lines, all that stuff I'm going to have to be messing around with. So these are uh, really going to come in handy for uh, future projects.